Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to study about free radical reactions and its mechanisms. As we all know, free radicals are nothing but reactive intermediates that are generated during homolytic cleavage of bonds. And in free radical reactions, essentially a radical is added across a organic molecule. Free radicals being highly reactive in nature are also essentially non-selective in its various organic reactions. Now again we have already discussed the two types of free radical reactions. One is free radical substitution reactions and free radical addition reactions. The mechanism of a free radical reaction essentially consists of three major steps. The first one is initiation, second one is propagation and the last one is termination. What happens in initiation is that the molecule in the presence of heat or light undergoes homolytic cleavage giving us free radicals. So in, the, in our example we have taken bromine molecule and when it is exposed to light or heat it essentially gives us uh, bromine radicals. As you can see here Br2 gives us 2 Br dot. The second step is propagation and as you can see in the propagating step these are the two reactions that take place. Let us take ethane as a starting molecule or reactant molecule and Br dot has already been generated in the initiation step. Now when ethane reacts with Br dot, uh, this particular free radical Br dot essentially breaks the CH bond homolytically such that again two other free radicals are generated. So Br dot combines with H dot to give us HBr and a corresponding free radical is obtained which is ethyl free radical or CH3 CH2 dot. In the second step, this particular radical CH3 CH2 dot reacts with another bromine molecule where Br dot or bromine radical is regenerated and you get the corresponding product which is ethyl bromide. So as you can see that these radicals are generated continuously and they essentially repeat and giving us a chain of reactions. Another important thing to note here is that we have seen that radicals are highly reactive in nature and essentially re results in a lot of side reactions which are not desirable. Because of its non-selective nature, the side reactions obtained are CH3Br which reacts with another bromine radical giving us this particular radical and HBr and this particular radical can again react with another bromine molecule regenerating Br dot and the product obtained here is CH2Br2 instead of the reactant that we are probably looking at which is ethyl bromide. So this is essentially why free radical reactions are highly non-selective in nature as it results in a several side reactions or propagation reactions that occur parallelly. Now the last step in this particular mechanism is termination. In termination what we are looking at is how essentially the reaction stops. So the reaction stops when the components or the reactants are completely consumed or when any of these following side reactions take place. So we know that in each of these side reactions the radicals react with each other to form saturated compounds such that all the radicals are consumed completely and there are no more radicals left for any propagation reaction to take place. We can see that Br dot combines with Br dot to form bromine molecule, ethyl radical combines with another ethyl radical to form butane here and ethyl radical can also combine with another bromine radical to give us ethyl bromide. So these are the various side reactions by which the radicals get consumed completely and helps in the termination of the free radical chain reaction. So I hope you are very clear on what are the major steps involved in the mechanism of free radical reaction which are initiation, propagation and termination. Thank you.